I first saw Adventurous many, many years ago, but then I came back several years later when I was old enough to actually go aboard and did a day sail and completely fell in love with her. You get on board and you're eating together, you're sleeping together, you're doing chores together, you're raising sail together, you can't do it without each other. And so it creates this really tight bond and this lifelong friendship. She's a glorious ship and I've heard tell from a lot of people who had sailed aboard her how, how wonderful she is. And the thing that has kept me coming back is the community of people that she is surrounded by. I have ADD, so I'm a very hands-on learner. I can't learn with someone just talking at me, but being on the ship, they're having me haul in lines, they're having me, I'm putting the plankton net in and then getting to physically look at the plankton. I mean, you're getting to see that with your eyes, you're getting to learn it with your hands. If I was in a classroom and they were trying to show me the plankton, it wouldn't make a lot of sense. Up until this last trip as an apprentice, I was watching and working more as a crew member. It just clicked, wow. I could do that. That's something that I would be very happy doing. And that's kind of where I'm going now. All the youth that come on board for our day programs, for our overnight programs, there's always some kind of visual, visual change. Some of them subtle, but some of them very obvious uh, in, in many, many different ways. I had this one girl who was in my watch group and she came over to me and she said, this trip, this trip has inspired me to talk more, to be more outgoing, to chase things that I want. Because she said she was so shy and usually she was really held back. You can see her, she's about to tear up and she's so happy that she had such a great and supportive group that was going to be there for her. And that's really what being a shipmate is, it's the support that you get. Adventurous is still very relevant in this world today and when young people or any people come onto the ship, they're able to have an experience that's very tangible, where they come on, they haul the lines, they see a sea lion on a buoy, they see a whale maybe if they're lucky. If you're able to make it a real experience, it's gonna be a much more memorable experience. I first saw the Adventures in Echo Bay at Susha Island, and I was out sailing with my family on our little 34-foot Catalina. So I guess I was 11, and I saw Josephine in the rigging, and my dad said something to me like, wow, wouldn't it be cool to do that? And I was like, yes, yes it would. <laughs> and so the next year, he signed me up for the program, and then I kept coming back. And then this last year, I was up in the rigging, and it was in Port Townsend. I was up in the rigging, and I was fixing things, and mending, and splicing, or whatever. And this girl came down the dock, and her dad said, wouldn't that be cool to do that? <laughs> and I was like, and she said, wow, I want to do that someday. And I was like, wow, <laughs> that was me. I'm, I'm now, like, I'm in the rigging. I'm the girl that I saw in Echo Bay so long ago. And it was, wow. <laughs>